Malocclusion is a jaw condition. It happens when the teeth of the upper jaw do not align with the teeth of the lower jaw. There's a misalignment. Now, there's no degree as to, what, as to what's too much misalignment. That's, of course, something you have to turn to your dentist to know more about. And the causes of malocclusions are plenty. It could be the shape of your jaw that's the cause, or it's a birth defect, a condition that you are born with. In some cases, it's the result of uh, lost teeth, teeth that are grown out in different places, or new teeth. And so the teeth can push the jaw into a misalignment. And of course, childhood habits are very important. Using the pacifier for too much, thumb sucking for too much, all these issues can lead to malocclusions. So pay attention to your jaw and lead a more positive life. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Shadi Khanji. I'm an um, oral surgeon specialist and specialist in dental implants in Kuwait. I'd like to talk today about dental implants mostly. What's a dental implant uh, to start? A dental implant is a titanium screw which can be placed in the mouth of the patient to replace a missing tooth. So mostly when the patient comes to our clinic, he has a missing tooth, the tooth which has been extracted before or maybe that couldn't be repaired, it should be extracted, it should be removed, and a dental implant is mostly recommended to replace the missing tooth. Actually, before, we, before having dental implants, we used to make a bridge, so we have to prepare the tooth which is like before and after the missing tooth, uh, maybe to do root canal treatment, and to place a bridge. A bridge is like a three or four uh, teeth, uh, ceramic teeth, which are connected together to replace a tooth. But now, as a more conservative technique, placing a dental implant is nowadays, let's say, it's very safe, it's very fast, it can be done like within like 10, 20 minutes time. Uh, it's considered now a minor surgery for the patient. Uh, sometimes the patient will ask us, how much time is needed to place the implant? Well, actually, it mostly depends on the case. What I mean is, like, if the tooth is already extracted like being like a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago so the healing is good we have enough bone the gum is ready we can place the implant immediately usually there's a waiting time uh, after placing the implant to place the crown or the new tooth uh, above the implant or connected to the implant why because the dental implant which i would like to remind you it's a titanium screw it needs time to heal, for the bone to grow on the surface of the implant. The time needed is usually like a couple of weeks, like one month to, to three months. It depends on the uh, diameter of the implant, the general health of the patient. So after the waiting period, we can place the dental crown, the new tooth, like within like one week time, more or less. Sometimes we need some kind of other surgery before placing the implant. If the bone is thin, if the bone is not like thick enough or we don't have enough quantity of the bone, a gum or like mostly a bone graft is to be done before placing the implant, which will take us a little more, a longer time for the implant to be placed because we have to wait for the bone graft to heal, for the new bone to be regenerated, and then we place the dental implant. I will talk to you more about it after the break. Please stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned and welcome back. Also, we are asked how many implants are to be placed in the jaw or the, in the mouth of the patient. It highly depends on the number of the missing teeth. The big advantage of placing implants now also, if like, let's say a patient has no more teeth in his, in his mouth, usually we used to do only removable uh, teeth or like uh, something like that can be taken out and to be put in in the, in the mouth of the patient. Nowadays, we can place like maybe two, four, six implants, maybe more in each uh, arch, the upper or the lower, and to place uh, the removable, now it's fixed uh, prosthesis on the implants or fixed crown on the implants. 
This will give the patient more confidence. It will give him fixed teeth, non-removable teeth, and definitely a new and healthier smile. A very important thing to do is to do a questionnaire with the patient, especially health-wise. Is the patient a heavy smoker? Does he have any kind of like disorder or disease? Maybe diabetes, maybe he's on like medication. Usually uh, the implant when it's placed, we talked about the waiting phase, which is like one to two months. There's some kind of risk for the implant not to be accepted by the, by the mouth of the patient, especially when we have some disorders like diabetes, like some autoimmune diseases, or anything related to, uh, to the healing of the uh, mouth of the patient. So any kind of disorder, any heavy smoking, could sometimes uh, give us uh, less chance for the implant to be accepted. Usually we should always cooperate and uh, communicate with the medical doctor and uh, to be giving advice about the health of the patient and that's to, uh, to make the implant uh, more prone to be accepted by the mouth of the patient. I already told you that the implant is a titanium screw uh, which is placed in the mouth. Actually nowadays we have what we call a zirconia implant it's not metal anymore, it's made of zirconia, which is a white material. Uh, it's highly recommended in the aesthetic zone, in the anterior teeth. So it will give us a better aesthetic result, a better aesthetic outcome. So the zirconia implant should be placed mostly in the anterior zone, in the aesthetic zone. It will give a more aesthetic result for the patient. Uh, and that we can guarantee a better outcome regarding the aesthetic and the pink aesthetic. With, what I mean by pink aesthetic is the gum, the translucency of the implant through the gum. Because sometimes if, the, if we have a thin bone in the anterior region, if we have a thin gum, the titanium might show a little bit by translucency. So the, the zirconia implant, the white implant, allow me to say that, is more aesthetic and it will give a better outcome for the patient. Thank you for staying with us and we hope that the information that was given to you was very beneficial for all our listeners. Thank you.